Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Saturday. This is Ange and Rob live with the Late Night Feed for Giant TV. And we're here today with Steve Grisbrook, the host of the Home of the Blues here at Monty's Gastro Pub. And it's a sad day in a way because it's the finale. And uh, that's why you're sitting. That's why I'm sitting. He's a little sad. You had an entire year of incredible success. And now today's the finale. Yep. And we have uh, Jerome Gabu as your featured artist. I'm a good friend with Steve. I've known him for many years. And I'm just so excited to be here. We're excited to be here with you. Stick around. We've got lots of interviews in place. And we're going to get you to know what happens here at the Home of the Blues at Monty's Gastro Pub, 547 Ontario Street, St. Catharines, Ontario. Welcome back to the Late Night Feed with Angie and Rob, in, out, and about right here on Giant TV in studio with Melanie Petrovic. Oh my gosh, look at this. Uh, <laughs> Best-selling author, entrepreneur, owner and operator of uh, Ma uh, Monty's Gastro Pub in St. Catharines. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Thank you guys for having me. This is a real treat. So tell us off the bat the inspiration behind Monty's as you saw it for yourself. Well, originally I just, I wanted a bar restaurant where I could provide people with something to do. You guys are from the area. I find it could be sleepy sometimes, you know, there's not a ton of activities, events. Uh, there's some live music in, in, in various places, but I just, I, I wanted a place where I could really let people have an awesome time. So I just wanted to provide that kind of entertainment and fill it up and then everybody meets people i've had people who've gotten married who met there i have people wow. still dating six years later who've met their uh you know staff too but <laughs> so it's just a, a really fun spot for people to get together it's kind of a, a homey place people know each other people like each other and that makes me proud and happy when people say they had a blast at my place I've walked in there many times, uh, as I do on a weekly basis, and <laughs> you feel that when you walk in. The bartenders say hello, yes. the staff members say hello, yes. you're greeted with a smile. Yes. They remember your drink. Right, you know, yep. and, and it is that place, and with the entertainment value that you offer as well, it just creates a place that you want to go and go again. Thank you right? very yeah, much. Absolutely. That's the goal. <laughs> yes, and I love seeing that. And I also get to greet your guests, your, mm -hmm. you know, often. And... Um, even if I'm not serving, I'll have the, I'll grab the menus even. And I know, I hear you do that. I mean, I'll I hope everybody help. knows here Angela does our open mic. <laughs> <laughs> and I love being there every Sunday. It feels like home. We love having you. And it's a great environment and everyone loves your new stage. Thank you. Yeah. invested a lot Thank you. in I building did. that up for music. You yeah. can tell that you're right into what bands need mm -hmm. because it's the widest deepest stage I think in the region yeah. so congratulations yeah. thank, on you. That. Thank, thank you thank you thank you thank you yeah. all bands love it yes. anyone who gets on my stage they 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 want to be back well yeah and you have that nice seating in the back for the VIP viewers right <laughs> we just creep up on that stage <laughs> but I love it and we know that you're a huge supporter of the region I remember attending we both did your media night last year yeah, that was with the Niagara Music Awards. Yes. We, were, we were totally involved with them. We were their biggest sponsor. We did a ton of events. We brought in so many talented artists of all genres, of all kinds, from singer-songwriter to rock to hip-hop to jazz to... And uh, we just loved helping it out, you know what I mean? It gives those people a chance to get on stage. Yes. And to be a part of something musically inclined mm -hmm. and i see that you actually book a lot of the people that were at the media night absolutely so as a result of them being there for the first time now they're actually engaged in getting regular gigs at your yeah, place paid gigs and it's wonderful i see you supporting um the young because it's a family-friendly restaurant so at my open mic we even get the youngins the 12 year olds the 13 year olds like the up-and-comers 16 year olds and so you've opened up a place even on the weekends for it to be family friendly which is fantastic thank you so you have a wide demographic that you support so i really want to thank you for that thank you yes late night feed with Angie and rob in out and about right here on giant tv live at monty steve Grisbrook. steve Grisbrook. steve Grisbrook is here with us today uh now you're a toronto guy i am so how is it that the trauma guy uh, <coughs> takes a weekly gig in, in, in St. Catharines for blues? Oh, it's been a long series of events. I've, uh, I've known a lot of the musicians down here, and uh, I used to actually come out and guest with this band originally. Uh, and then I started subbing in for the guitar player. 
I started subbing in for the vocalist, and then I started subbing in for both of them. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just stayed. And ultimately, yeah, well, we ended up changing venues and we came here to Monty's. Uh, it was actually, I think it was called The Street originally when we started here. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, we just started, the, well, kept the whole uh, guest spot uh, matinee thing going, and... Uh, and I took the reins. What is it in Saturday afternoon in blues that is such a great connection? Is it, is well, it the weekend vibe that people are waiting to, or, waiting with, to start? Without any disrespect to our, our loyal patrons, I think a lot of it is the fact that it's it's a nice early afternoon. Yeah. Um, I've been finding more and more as I as I continue to play, even well, especially at night, people don't want to be out late at night as much anymore. And the matinee things really seem to take off. There's actually three different matinees in St. Catharines on Saturdays all doing the same sort of format, and they're all very successful. So there really is a, a, a need and a, and a thirst for the blues and, uh, and live afternoon music here in uh, St. Def Catharines. Definitely, yeah. I, uh, I mean, I, I've never actually professed to call myself a blues musician. I'm, I'm more of a guitar player that plays blues. There's a, a lot more, in my opinion, legit players out there. But uh, I've always loved playing it, have a lot of fun playing it, and I know a lot of the musicians that play it. So we, we bring them out. Uh, I'm all from the Toronto area, from Hamilton, from London, all over southern Ontario. I've had a few guests in from the States now. Wow. So it's, yeah, it's uh, it's it's really taken flight. What is the process or the format, if you will, for the afternoon of those who haven't come down yet to experience it? What are they? How do they expect it to, to run when they show up? Well, we have a, a three-piece house band, guitar, bass, and drums. Uh, the band's called Blues Etc., which is actually sort of fitting with the format. Because Lovely. we are blues musicians, but we're venture off into different categories and then we bring in a fe featured guest or in some cases two featured guests uh, they'll play with us so I'll usually open up the afternoon with a couple of songs and then I basically throw them the ball and, uh, and they, they perform their stuff and we perform it with them You spoke of features, tell us a little bit about uh, Jerome Godbu who incidentally is the feature here this afternoon Oh, you know what, I know you're going to be talking to him in a few minutes, you'll probably get a better history of him that I can give you. Uh, I know he's he's done a, a lot of really amazing things. He used to play with a band called The Phantoms. They were quite popular. Uh, he did a lot of work with Jeff Healy. Wow. Uh, he played with Ronnie Hawkins for quite some time. <laughs> um, and he's and he's had a pretty extensive solo career too. He's a fabulous harmonic player. He's a great songwriter. He's uh, an amazing musician and a very down to earth fun guy to be around. Looking forward to a set later on this afternoon uh, and certainly looking forward to the next uh, year. So you're off now for the summer as uh, as it normally does for the season and you'll pick up again in the, in the fall. Is that oh yeah, works, yeah. So? I've actually got, I've got people jumping at the bit already asking for, uh, for guest spots for next season. We, uh, we, we tend to go a little later in the season because we start a little later. We come back the first week of October uh, and that's just to sort of offset uh, what the other matinees are doing. It's nice, healthy respect for the other musicians in town. Well, it, it, yeah, and, yeah. It's, and, and that's the other thing too. And, you know, that means that some people play a competition as to who's going to get the crowds. <laughs> and then it, it's 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 not like that. It, it's it's just been an open element where there's been three really successful matinees that are all really busy all the time. Wonderful. Well, it's a great day for music and a great spot. Monty's Gastro Pub in St. Catharines here. Uh, Steve Grisbrook, thanks so much for everything you've done and looking forward to more music from you right here. Late Night Feed, Giant TV, live on location with Angie Morell. Hi, Allie. Hi, how are you? Great. I'm so glad you're here with us today at the finale of the Home of the Blues. Are you attending here almost every Saturday? Yes. And how do you feel about this center on Saturdays for yourself? What does it mean to you personally? It's fantastic, I love it. Oh man, Rob, you must be so excited because this is a new featured menu item not yet so to be from discovered. Full on, full on veggie to full on meat. Yes. These are meatball sliders. This is brand new. Uh, so tell me about the ingredients. We have something for everyone. So these are our homemade, house made meatballs with our house made marinara sauce. 
We have a beautiful uh, balsamic, I mean, sorry, basil pesto on fresh chia butter bread with some freshly shaved Parmigiano Reggiano on top. How international. I know. I love it. That sounds wonderful and fancy. You're right. We go yeah. from vegetarian to straight up meat lovers. The, it, we have it all for you. The presentation is just unbelievable. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. The Dive taste in, has got to be. I needed tools for this one. This is a. Uh, I need. Uh, I need. Dive in. Yeah, just a bit of meat. I take pride in those My meatballs, goodness. and we wow. have a meatball sub coming out too. We've got a meatball spaghetti dish. We're, we got a lot of things in the works coming out very soon. Wow, the kitchen is just buzzing right now, right? Yeah. And the music is flowing. The friends are here. The good times are had. Monty's Gastro Club is where you need to be. This is Ange and Rob with the Late Night Feed Giant TV. We're here with Melanie once again. This is your finale of the Home of the Blues. This is it. This is our last day for the season, but not gone. Hell no. When are we <laughs> starting back up? Every year back, first week in October. Every year. Every year, and Every Steve year. Grisbrook is your host right. with the most. Hell yeah. <laughs> so how are you feeling today, it being sort of a celebratory year of celebrations with all the amazing artists that you've had here for the Blues? Oh my gosh, we're just so lucky to have had these incredible artists who are super well known, they have their own records out there, they're, they're, they're traveling the globe, and we've had them here in our house, that's why we're known as Home of the Blues. Later you should take a look at that poster, that we are literally known, we're the institution for the Blues in this area. I'm just very proud proud that um, everybody comes out here, loves the shows every single week, and we only take about a three month break in the summer, and I just can't wait for it to start back up in October. Now I know you're taking a three month break, but you do have some other things going on. Tell us about those things that are happening like next week, I know you're doing a, a taping here for some band. Absolutely, no, we, we have the Blues coming back, they're doing a special recording for a record they're doing with Jerome Goodbow, Chuck Jackson, Cheryl Lescom, and of course my Steve Grizz and that band, uh, so they're doing live recording. We've got the Country Junkies coming up. We still have bands every single weekend. We've got hip hop events. We're trying new things, you know, on a Thursday night. And of course, we have this wonderful lady doing our open mic every Sunday. People love it. I love it. I hope you love it. I love it. Not only do I love it, but I love the new campaign we're doing this summer. And you have incredible items for purchase jewelry, bags, wallets, some portraits, Absolutely. and we also have some giveaways, some some draws. You're going to want to come here on Sundays as well, every Sunday in the summer. Yeah, we're doing a, a summer-long fundraiser for Music Gibbs. We're huge into the music industry. We just want to give back as much as we can to local talent and, and help kids get music lessons if they can't afford it. In just a few minutes, we're going to actually hear Jerome Godbu, so stick around. And thanks so much for joining us on the Late Night Feed, Ange and Rob, in Out and About. All right, here we are. Jerome Godbu is here, feature artist here at Monty's for Saturday Afternoon Blues. Kind of sad that it's the finale. Well, not really, because we all got to do different things, right? Music is a glorious way to come together, but then we'll all go to our families or the cottage, and then we'll be you know, back in September. Fantastic. Well, you know, your uh, special connection here to St. Catharines would be yeah. Monty's, right? Your, your, your thoughts and feelings about playing here this afternoon? Well, St. Catharines and uh, Thoreau has got a great blues scene, for one. A lot of fans still come out to hear blues bands that are, you know, musicians like myself, we've been putting in like 33 years to learn this craft. It's like fine dining in a way if you're a chef. So it's great that the people here really come out and support that. Any new music today? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm always writing. Fantastic. Always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's next on the horizon for you? Uh, right now I'm taking a break, uh, hardly doing any gigs actually, I'm uh, meditating a lot, but that's just to get my body and mind uh, to a higher level so I can, you know, perform again, come back with some fresh uh, instincts and, and material and hopefully just a better operating system altogether. I'm like, um, musicians, we work on everything, we tune our instruments, this is tuning my mind and my body. So that's what I'm doing for the summer. Fantastic yeah. way to spend a few months. Yeah, and yeah, it's nice to come back to music with things I really like, like this St. Catherine's Day at Monty's. Jerome Godby, we're all set to go here at Monty's. Looking forward to it, sir. Thank you so much. All right.